This is The Life I Live Now, written by Vivian Uwakwe and inspired by Galatians chapter 2, verse 20. And it says, The life I live now is one I've never lived, a life where I'm not the captain and this is not my ship. I abhorred with full confidence to the one who is in control, my father, my redeemer, the delighter of my soul. This life I live now, though it hugs me left and right, I'm no longer consumed by darkness, for I cannot comprehend the light. When the dark caves in and tries to make this temple its home, I fear not if you have formed me, redeemed me, called me your own. This life I live now, I dare not live it in the flesh, for I found that life to be a product of mess. Though waves may come, though seas may roar, I will be still and know that you are the Lord. For this life I live now is a gift from the King. And in exchange for your love, my Lord, what do I bring? All of me is all that you desire, for I am as silver and gold, and you are the refiner. So refine me, O Lord, purify my life, and let this life I live now be your great delight. Thank you. The poem called The Life I Live Now is um, a prayer. It's a prayer that I have for myself every single day. I feel like every Christian kind of has that prayer. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20, for it's no longer, if I have been crucified with Christ, it's no longer I who lives, but Christ who lives in me. The life I live now, I live it. Let me check. <laughs> Let me check real quick. I don't want to misquote anything. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20 says, I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who lives, but Christ who lives in me. And the life which I now live, I live by the, I live, I live in the flesh. And this life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. When I wrote this poem, I was actually um, going through it. I was having a hard time, school, life, stress, call it what you may. And instead of like trying to find an outlet or, you know, distractions or a show or a K-drama or something, I just began to write. And I love poems. I've been writing poems for a long time, but I haven't written a poem in like three years as I was writing a poem I started to tear up because I was like Lord this is my prayer every single day that my whole life would just be yours that when I sing the song I gave myself away it'll be something that's true the greatest sacrifice the greatest love story ever is the one between God and man and it's a story where man keeps running away I keep running away and God is the one who's always there pulling me and bringing and bringing me and just show me his love in different ways the greatest example of love is when he gave his son to die for you and me so the only thing that i can give him now is my life is to worship him in spirit and in truth to just give him my all you know and i struggle with that so this poem that i wrote was kind of like a prayer like lord like let this life i live now be your great delight like refine me like as you are the refinest fire i am the silver and gold to so refine me you know a refinest fire something that i think it purifies i have to look it up <laughs> um but yeah that's really what this poem means and uh, i really read it as a prayer um so yeah i hope you guys in the sun hmm hmm Hope you guys enjoyed today's. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you next time. Be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know whenever I upload. And I'm not gonna tell you guys to comment if you guys never comment. So just do what you want at this point. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and guess who loves you? Did you guys figure it out? Jesus loves you. Okay, bye. I'll see you guys next time. I gotta go to church. Easy, easy.